when we really compare ourselves uh, with uh, either Chinese or uh, Russians or US, uh, we still need to do a lot of catch up. Uh, there are certain areas where we have done very well, uh, considering uh, the economic condition of our country right from the independence up to the time where we have grown now, uh, whatever we have achieved uh, has yeah. been significant, I would say, uh, for a country like India, which today is highly the most populated country in the world. Uh, but uh, suddenly China has gone uh, way ahead uh, because uh, many of the areas uh, where uh, China has... Uh, uh, accomplished is uh, pretty significant. Uh, it could be having their own space station, uh, the launch vehicle capabilities, the heavy lift off engines, what they have, the kind of satellites, what they are able to launch and many other areas. But one particular area I would say where India has really scored over not only China, but many other countries is uh, applications of space technology and taking it to the grassroots and li literally reaching out to the last mile that is an area where India has done very significantly compared to any other country. Even possibly China wouldn't have reached the level what India has reached because today we talk about sustainable development or literally looking at uh, the condition of water, condition of land. Uh, we can reach out to uh, the farmer uh, using a combination of technologies like uh, the space-based technology, the internet of things, as well as the drone technology. So we use a combination of these things to reach out. These kind of tools and technologies, what we have done, and also the kind of space-based monitoring of our programs. Like there is a lot of am amount of money which is being spent by the government for varieties of developmental programs. For example, you can take uh, uh, MG Narega, for example, such kind of programs we are able to monitor from space. So space applications is one area where possibly mm -hmm. India is second to none, but there are many other areas where India needs to really catch up but we are not far off. Uh, for example, the, the way we are now looking at our LVM3 and the way it is shaping up and the way we are now working on semi cryo engine and the technologies related to that. And also the kind of, uh, uh, what do you call, launches which we are going to very soon see. It could be Aditya L1, it could be Chandrayaan 3 and we work very closely with Japan for yet another Chandrayaan mission. These are going to be unique examples of how India can uh, easily reach out uh, to that level of technology and really make a big dent on the ground. 